everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here hi I'm Jessica and in today's tutorial I'm really excited to show you how I made this rainbow blanket this rainbow blanket is made using the fillet crochet technique fillet crochet is a very simple technique in crochet in this technique you just need to know how to make chain stitches and double crochets the chain stitches that you can see are these gaps here and in between all our double crochet stitches so fillet crochet is basically using chain stitches and double crochets in a certain order and with that you can make shapes like these I have this rainbow blanket here and you can also find baby elephant pattern little piggy pattern and a lot of patterns that I've made on my youtube channel and you can also find them on my Etsy channel so I'll leave a link to that in the description box if you're interested and all the yarn and the crochet hook information is in the description box as well so make sure to check that out and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do make sure you subscribe and also hit that bell notification so that you never miss out on any of my future videos with that said let's hop into the video to make this blanket we start by making a slip knot there are many ways to make a slip knot and you can do this in whichever way you prefer but this is how I make a slip knot if you're a beginner, I have a detailed video on three simple ways to make a slip knot. The link is in the description box. Once you have your slip knot ready, let's make our foundation chain. For this pattern, the stitch multiple is 43 stitches, meaning you can chain in any multiple of 43 until you have the desired width of the blanket. So it can be 86, 129, 172 and so on. Just that it has to be a multiple of 43. So you can chain in any multiple of 43 and make this blanket in any size you need. It can be a baby blanket, a throw size or even a king size. It totally depends on you. Remember, if you're using a thicker weight yarn, you will need lesser stitches. And if you're using a finer weight yarn like a DK, or even finer than that then you will need more stitches to get the length or the width that you're going for so for the tutorial I'm just going to make a small sample of 86 stitches but you can go ahead and make the blanket in any size you need just chain in multiples of 43 so I'll go ahead and chain my foundation chain pause the video and make yours and I will be right back with mine once you have your foundation chain ready, add two extra chains for turning. These two chains do not count as anything. So your foundation chain is that number that you chained before. Okay, so these two chains do not count as anything. Now moving ahead on row one, we need to skip the first three chains. This loop on your hook do not count as anything. So starting from these whole chains here, one, two, three, skip these three chains. And in that fourth chain, we need to make a double crochet. Double crochet is just yarning over. Insert your hook in that fourth chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through those two. Now again, in the next chain, make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull up. 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. Just like that, make 1 double crochet in each of these chains throughout your foundation chain and I will meet you back at the end of the foundation chain. So here I am back at the end of row 1. The total number of stitches after every row should be a multiple of 43. That is exactly the same that you chained for your foundation chain. If you have chained 86 plus 2 for turning, then you should have 86 stitches at the end of every row. Likewise, if you have chained 129, you should have 129 stitches. If you have chained 172, you should have 172 stitches at the end of every row. Whatever number you have taken as that multiple of 43 for your foundation chain, that many stitches you should have at the end of every row. So moving ahead on row 2. So for row 2, normally people chain 3. Turn their work and count that chain 3 as their first stitch and then continue from the second stitch and start working their row but I do not do that because it gives me a big gap between the first and the second stitch. I simply turn my work without chaining anything 
and I make chainless turning double crochet stitch. Let me show you how to do that. For that, you just need to pull your yarn a little bit, not too much. And then simply insert your hook in that very first stitch. Here. Pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both those loops. Now you see these two vertical bars coming out of that stitch. I hope I'm in focus. Okay. So these two vertical bars that you see, it has a left leg and a right leg. So insert your hook in that left leg and pull up a loop. Again, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two. So all you need to do is you need to make kind of like single crochets on top of each other and you, you just have to try to match up to that height of your double crochet stitch. It needs to be almost of that height. It's okay if it's a little bit shorter or even taller, it's okay. And you need to place your last stitch in this stitch here that you finished. So that's a chainless turning double crochet stitch. Now moving ahead, for row 2, the pattern says we need 7 double crochets. 7 double crochets mean 1 double crochet in the first 7 stitches. So we already have 1 stitch here. Now we need 6 more. That's my second, third, fourth, five, six, and seven. So including this chainless turning double crochet, we have seven double crochets in total. Now. If you're referring my pattern along with the tutorial, you will notice that in the pattern notes, I have a specific note that says that if the number is written before the DC, meaning if it's 3DC, then you are supposed to make one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. But if the number is written after that DC, meaning if it's DC3, then you need to make three double crochets all in that very same stitch. So make sure you are reading the pattern notes properly before you start making the blanket. So here when I refer to as seven double crochet, it means one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Or maybe if I say 12 double crochet, it means one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So now moving ahead, we have seven double crochets here. Now next the pattern says, we need to chain one, skip the next stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch. And we need to repeat this in total nine times. So once we have already done, now chain one, skip one stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Again, chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next stitch. So we have already done this one, two, three, four, five times. I will do this four more times and be right back. So you are finished making chain one, skip one, one double crochet nine times. Next, we need to make chain one, skip one stitch and six double crochets, meaning one double crochet in the next six stitches. Next, we need to make chain one, skip the next stitch and make two double crochets. Remember, whenever I say two double crochets or six double crochets, it always means one double crochet in those many stitches. So when I say two double crochet, it means one double crochet in the next two stitches.
again chain one skip one stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches next we need to make chain one skip one stitch and four double crochets Once you're done with four double crochets, this is your pattern repeat for this row, meaning that you will repeat the exact same thing that you did just now over and over until you reach the end of your row. Here I have 86 stitches, so I will repeat this exact same pattern one more time. If you have 129 stitches, you, you will repeat this exact same pattern for this row two times. So in total, you're working these stitches three times if you have 129 stitches so you need to repeat this pattern for every 43 stitches that you have made so here i have just 86 stitches and i've made this pattern once so i'll work this pattern once more for the entire row as you can see i, I have more 43 stitches to work with so i will start my pattern from the very beginning that is seven double crochets chain one skip one one double crochet nine times and then chain one skip one six double crochets chain one skip one two double crochets chain one skip one two chain one skip one four so this is your pattern repeat for this row and this is how you're going to repeat your pattern for every row every row will have a set of stitches to work with you will repeat those stitches over and over again until you reach the end all you need to do is start from the very beginning so after I finished the end of pattern here, I will again start from seven double crochet. So after I finished these four double crochets, again, I start working seven double crochets in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven if you need you can place a stitch marker at the end of that pattern repeat so that you can differentiate and you can section out those 43 stitches those 43 stitches of the pattern repeat so i've finished seven double crochets now i will again make chain one skip one one double crochet nine times and then repeat what i did and end with four double crochets for the next pattern repeat so similarly repeat the exact same thing again and again till you reach the end of the row And in the same way, you're going to work the pattern repeat for every single row. So I started with seven double crochets. Then again, I worked chain one, skip one, one double crochet nine times. And then chain one, skip one, six double crochets. Now, after that, we had chain one, skip one stitch, two double crochets. Chain one, skip one stitch. Two double crochets then chain one skip one four double crochets so in the end of the row you should end with four double crochets whether you're repeating the pattern twice or thrice or as many times as you have worked your foundation chain and the last double crochet you will work on top of that chain three make sure you get those two loops to make that stitch really strong so that's the end of my row two so as you can see i've, I've repeated the pattern repeat twice my first pattern repeat ended here after these four double crochets 
then again I started with seven double crochets chain one skip one nine times then chain one skip one six double crochets chain one skip one two double crochets chain one skip one two double crochets chain one skip one four so just it's really simple just work that particular pattern repeat for every row as many times as you have taken that multiple of 43 okay so now moving on to row 3 again I start with a chainless turning double crochet if you're not comfortable with the chainless turning stitch you can make a chain 3 and count that as your first double crochet so this is my first stitch now according the, to the pattern I need four double crochets so this is my first one two three and four so if you're using chain three as your first stitch count that and then count four total stitches for row two sorry row three next we chain two skip one stitch and two double crochets again chain two skip one stitch two double crochets next we chain one skip one stitch make four double crochets one two three and four next we make a chain one skip the next stitch and make 21 double crochets so I chained one skipping the next stitch starting from the next making 21 double crochets so this is my first one second one will be in this chain one space now you can either work in the space like this or you can go into the stitch that is like this so continue making double crochets on top of every stitch until you have 21 stitches I like to make that double crochet stitch in that stitch itself instead of going in this space because I feel it gives a better finish although initially when I was a beginner when I was not very used to making it I used to just simply go in this space and finish my stitch so it's okay it's not wrong if you do that totally depends on you but I personally feel that going into the stitch makes it look really neat so I'll go ahead and keep making double crochets until I have 21 double crochets so you are finished making 21 double crochets after that chain one space once you have 21 double crochets chain one skip the next stitch and make five double crochets And this is your pattern repeat for row 3 that is 4 double crochet chain 1 skip 1 stitch 2 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 stitch 2 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 stitch 4 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 stitch 21 double crochets and then finally chain 1 skip 1 stitch 5 double crochets so start from here again 4 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 whatever the pattern count is repeat the exact same thing as many times as you need to reach to the end of the row and I will meet you right at the end. Here I'm at the end of row 3. If you're following along with the written pattern you will notice a number sequence given below every row. That sequence is the pattern repeat for that row. It helps to simply follow the numbers instead of reading the entire pattern with words in it again and again. 
So I highly recommend keeping the ribbon pattern by your side while making the blanket. So moving on to row four, simply turning my work and the pattern for row four is four double crochets in the first four stitches. So I'm starting with a chainless turning double crochet stitch. So that's my first double crochet, second, third and fourth. So four double crochet, chain one, skip one, 23 double crochet. So starting from this chain space here, make 23 double crochets. One, two, three, and the 23rd stitch will be in this next chain one space. Once I've made 23 double crochets, chain one, skip the next stitch and make three double crochets. Chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets. Chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets again. And lastly, chain one, skip the next stitch and four double crochets. So this is your pattern repeat for row four. That is four double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, 23 double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, three double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, two double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, two double crochets, chain one, skip one and four double crochets. So start from here again until you reach the end of the row. Here I'm at the end of row four, starting row five. We need to make four double crochets in the very first four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Next, we chain two skip the next stitch, make two double crochets, oops, one, two, again chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets, again chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets, So for row five, we made four double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, two double crochets, three times. Next, we chain one, skip the next stitch, and starting from this chain one space, we need to make 24 double crochet stitches in the next 24 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. Continue until you have 24 double crochet stitches.
once you finish making 24 double crochets you should end on top of this last double crochet before this chain one space and then chain one skip this chain one space and make four double crochets and that is the pattern repeat for row five four double crochet chain one skip one stitch two double crochet three times chain one skip one stitch 24 double crochets and then chain one skip one stitch four double crochets so repeat this sequence or pattern repeat until you reach the end of this row I've finished row five now let's begin row six for row six we need to make four double crochets in the first four stitches So one, two, three, and four. Once you have four stitches, chain one, skip this chain one space and make eight double crochets. One double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Once you have eight double crochets, chain one, skip the next stitch and make 15 double crochets. One double crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. 14 and 15. Once you've finished making 15 double crochets, chain one, skip this chain one space, make two double crochets. Again, chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets. Again, chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets. And lastly, chain one, skip the next stitch and make four double crochets. This is the pattern repeat for row 6, 4 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 8 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 15 double crochets, then chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 2 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 2, chain 1, skip 1, 2, chain 1, skip 1, and 4 double crochets. Repeat this sequence until you reach the end of this row. Here I finished row 6. Now row 7, we need to make 1 double crochet in the first 4 stitches, so 4 double crochets. One, two, three, four. chain 1, skip this chain 1 space and make 2 double crochets. chain 1, skip the next stitch, 2 double crochets, chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 3 double crochets, 1, 2, and the third double crochet will be in this chain 1 space. Next, we will chain one, skip the next stitch and make eight double crochets, one in each of the next eight stitches. Next, 
next we chain one skip the next stitch make six double crochets four five and the sixth one will be in this chain one space Next, we chain one again and skip the next stitch and again make six double crochets. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and placing your hook in this chain one space make five double crochets one in each of the next oops one in each of the next five stitches and this is your pattern repeat for row seven Four double crochets, chain one, skip one, two double crochets, chain one, skip one, two double crochets, chain one, skip one, three double crochets, chain one, skip one, eight double crochets, chain one, skip one, six double crochets, chain one, skip one, six double crochets, and in the end, chain one, skip one, five double crochets. So repeat this pattern, repeat again and again until you reach the end of row seven. And I will meet you back at the beginning of row eight. So I finished row seven, and now to begin row eight we need to make one double crochet in the first seven stitches in short seven double crochets starting from the very first stitch one two three four five Sixth double crochet in this chain one space and seventh in the next. Once you have seven double crochets, next we will chain one, skip the next stitch, make one double crochet in the next. Again, chain one, skip the next stitch, make one double crochet in the next. Next, we will chain one, skip the next stitch. Starting from this chain one space, we will make eight double crochets, one in each of the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And your eighth double crochet should come in this chain one space. Once you have made eight double crochets, next we will chain one, skip the next stitch and make six double crochets, one in each of the next six stitches. Next, we will chain one, skip the next stitch, starting from this chain one space, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Next, we will chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets. Again, chain one. Skip the next stitch, two double crochets. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, make four double crochets. This is your pattern repeat for row eight. 7 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 1 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 1 double crochet, 
chain 1 skip 1 8 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 6 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 4 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 2 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 2 chain 1 skip 1 4 so repeat this pattern sequence until you reach the end of row 8 now to begin row 9 make 4 double crochets 1 double crochet in the first 4 stitches 1 2 3 and 4 next chain 1 skip the next stitch make 2 double crochets 1 2 next chain 1 skip the next stitch make 2 double crochets again next chain 1 skip the next stitch and make 6 double crochets 1 in each of the next six stitches fifth stitch will be in this chain one space and sixth one in the next next we will chain one skip the next stitch make one double crochet in the next Again, chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. Next, we will chain one, skip the next stitch, starting from this chain one space, make eight double crochets. One, two, three, four five six seven and eight next chain one skip the next stitch and make 12 double crochet starting from this chain one space so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12 this is your pattern repeat for row 9 4 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 2 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 2 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 6 double crochets chain 1 skip 1 1 chain 1 skip 1 1 chain 1 skip 1 8 chain 1 skip 1 and 12 repeat this pattern repeat across row 9 and I will meet you at the end to start row 10 we need to make 12 double crochets one two three four eleven twelve once you have twelve double crochets chain one skip the next stitch and make seven double crochets one in each of the next seven stitches three four five six and seven next we chain one skip the next stitch make two double crochets one and two next we chain one skip this chain one space and make eight double crochets one in each of the next eight stitches three four five six seven and eight next 
chain one, skip this chain one space, make two double crochets, one, two, chain one, skip the next stitch, make two double crochets, next chain one, skip this chain one space, make four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. And this is your pattern repeat for row 10, 12 double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, seven double crochets, chain one, skip one, two double crochets, chain one, skip one, eight double crochets, chain one, skip one, two, chain one, skip one, two, chain one, skip one, four. Repeat this pattern repeat across row 10 and I will meet you back at the end. So I finished row 10. Now for row 11, we need four double crochets, one in each of the first four. So one, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip the next stitch, make two double crochets, one, and two. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, and make three double crochets, one, two, and third one will be in this chain one space. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and make seven double crochets, one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, and seven. Next, chain one, skip this chain one space, make two double crochets, one, and two. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, make one double crochet in the next. Again, chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. And one more time, chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. Now next, we'll chain one, skip the next stitch, and make 14 double crochets. So one, Second one will be in that chain one space. Three, four, five, and 14. So this is your pattern repeat for row 11. Four double crochets, chain one, skip one, stitch two double crochet, chain one, skip one, three double crochet, chain one, skip one, seven double crochets, chain one skip one two double crochet chain one skip one one chain one skip one one chain one skip one one and then chain one skip one stitch and make 14 double crochets so repeat this sequence or pattern repeat until you reach the end of row 11. so here i've finished row 11 and for row 12 we need to make one double crochet in the first 16 stitches so one two, three, four, and go on until you have 16 double crochets. Once you have 16 double crochets, then chain one, skip this chain one space, starting from the next chain, make three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Again, chain one, skip this chain one space, and make three double crochets. One, two, and third will be in that chain one space. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and make five double crochets. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Next, chain one. Skip this next stitch and make four double crochets starting from this chain one space. So one, two, three, and four. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, two double crochets. Chain one, skip the next stitch and four double crochets. So one, two, three, four. So this is the pattern repeat for row 12. 16 double crochets, chain one, skip one stitch, three double crochet, chain one, skip one, three, chain one, skip one, five, chain one, skip one, four, chain one, skip one, two, chain one, skip one, four. Repeat this pattern repeat across row 12 and I will see you at the end. Once you're done with row 12, let's start row 13. For row 13, you need to make one double crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, four. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, make three double crochets. So one, two, and third one will be in this chain one space. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and make five double crochets. So one, two, three, fourth one will be in a chain one space and then next is the fifth double crochet. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and then make five double crochets. One, second one in that chain one space, three, four, and five. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch, make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Next, we will chain one, Skip this chain one space and make 16 double crochets. One in each of the next 16 stitches. Once you're done with those 16 stitches, this is the pattern repeat for row 13. That is four double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, and three double crochets. Chain one, skip one stitch, five double crochets. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, five double crochets again chain one skip one stitch three double crochets chain one skip one stitch and then make 16 double crochets so repeat this pattern repeat all across row 13 and i will meet you right back in the beginning of row 14. now to start row 14 we need to make 16 double crochets starting from the very first stitch one two three, four, continue like this until you have 16 double crochets, 16. Next, chain one, skip this chain one space and make four double crochets, one in each of the next four stitches. Fourth one will be in this chain one space. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and starting from the next stitch make 11 double crochets, one double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So here I have 11 double crochets, now we'll chain one again, skip this next stitch, make four double crochets starting from this chain one space, so one, two, three 
and 4. Once again, chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this is your pattern repeat for row 14. 16 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 4 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 11 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 4, chain 1, skip 1, 4. Repeat this sequence across row 14 and I will meet you back at the end. To start row 15, we need to make 5 double crochets, 1 in each of the first 5 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and fifth one will be in that chain 1 space next chain 1 skip the next stitch again make 5 double crochets 1 2 3 fourth one will be in that chain 1 space And then fifth one in the next stitch. Next chain one, skip the next stitch and make seven double crochets, one in each of the next seven stitches. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Next chain one, skip the next stitch and make five double crochets. Chain 1, skip the next stitch and starting from this chain 1 space, make 17 double crochets, 1 in each of the 17 stitches. 1, 2, 3, and there I have 17 double crochets and this is your pattern repeat for row 15. 5 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 5 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 7 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 5 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 17 double crochets. So I finished row 15 and let's start row 16. But before we start, make sure that you're counting your stitches properly because if you're not counting, you might end up making a mistake and the whole motif may come out to be wrong. So make sure you're counting them properly and let's start row 16. Row 16, we need to make 18 double crochets, one in each of the first 18 stitches. So go ahead and make 18 stitches and I will meet you right back. The 18th double crochet will be in this chain one space. Once we have 18 double crochets in the first 18 stitches, next we will chain one. Skip the next stitch and make six double crochets, one in each of the next six stitches. Next we will chain 1, skip the next stitch, make 1 double crochet in the next one. Next again chain 1, skip the next stitch, 1 double crochet in the next. Next chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 6 double crochets in the next 6 stitches. I mean 1 double crochet in the next 6 stitches. Let's do three, four, five, and six. Next we will chain one and again skip the next chain or stitch and 
make six double crochets again, starting from this chain one space. And that is your pattern repeat for row 16, 18 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 6 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 1 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 1 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 6 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1, 6 double crochet again. So repeat this sequence or pattern repeat again and again until you reach the end of row 16. So finish row 16 and for row 17 you start with making 7 double crochets in the first 7 stitches. two, three, four, five, six, and your seventh double crochet will be in this chain one space. Next we'll chain one, skip the next stitch and make 15 double crochets, one double crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. Let's count that we have it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So once you have 15 double crochets, chain 1 again. And make 19 double crochets, 1 in each of the next 19 stitches. So skip this next stitch, starting from this chain 1 space, make 19 double crochets. So after you've finished 19 double crochets, this is your pattern repeat for row 17. That is 7 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 15 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1, 19 double crochets. So repeat this pattern repeat across row 17 and I will meet you at the beginning of row 18. Here I've finished row 17 and for row 18 we need to make 21 double crochets in the first 21 stitches. So make 1 double crochet in the very first stitch and in the next 20 stitches as well. So from the very first stitch, keep crocheting one double crochet in each stitch until you have 21 double crochet. 20th double crochet will be in this chain one space. And the 21st will be in the next. Next we will chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 1 double crochet in the next 11 stitches. Next we'll chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 1 double crochet in the next 9 stitches. And that is your pattern repeat for row 18, that is 21 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 11 double crochets, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 9 double crochets. So repeat this pattern across row 18 and I will see you at the so end. Once we are done with row 18, for row 19 we start by making 1 double crochet in the first 11 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Tenth will be in this chain 1 space and 11th in the next. 
Once we have 11 double crochets, we will chain 1, skip the next stitch, 1 double crochet in the next. We'll do this 4 times in total. We did it once, 3 more times, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. 2 more times, chain 1, skip the next stitch, 1 double crochet in the next. And one last time, chain 1, skip the next stitch, 1 double crochet in the next. Next, we will chain 1, skip the next stitch and make 1 double crochet in the next 23 stitches. So that's the first one. Second one in the next chain 1 space. Then in the next and keep making double crochets until you have made 23 double crochet stitches. Once you're done with 23 stitches, this is your pattern repeat for row 19. That is 11 double crochet, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, 1 double crochet 4 times. That is chain 1, skip 1, 1 double crochet, 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 and then make chain 1, skip 1, and 23 double crochets. So this is your pattern repeat for row 19. Repeat this pattern all across and I will see you at the end. So here I finished row 19. Now for row 20 and row 21, all you need to do is make one double crochet in each of the stitches across. And after row 21, you need to repeat from row 2 to 20 one more time. And after that, to make the blanket more longer, repeat from rows 21 to 40 over and over again until you're happy with the length of your blanket so like we had the multiple stitch multiple for the width initially with, with that you could make the blanket as wide as you want just like that with the row repeats you can make the blanket as long as you need so for that row 21 to 40 is your row repeat i will give all the details on the screen here if you want to note them down and uh, if you have any questions do leave a comment down below i will go ahead and finish the rest of my blanket and be right back so i've finished my sample blanket here and for the border i've made a single crochet border first in the same color cream color and then i've made a chain loop border this was my very first time making this border and it turned out to be really really great as you can see this is the front and this is the back of the border and it looks really beautiful for this border I've used four different colors. I've not used the cream color. Four different colors than cream. That is red, yellow, green and magenta. And I just love the way those colors pop because of the cream base of the blanket. I haven't filmed a tutorial for this border as this is my very first time making it. And I myself followed a video tutorial from Nastasia.com. I will leave a link to her video in the description box. And you do not have to make the exact same border. I went for it because I wanted something colorful as it's a rainbow motif and uh, I wanted something not too wide and and I also wanted to use different colored yarns but it is totally up to you. You can use any color for the border and even for the main blanket but I would suggest you use a plain color for the blanket, for the main blanket, as the motif, the rainbow and the cloud motif, is going to pop out more nicely with a plain color. So it can be cream, it can be pink, it can be any, any color you like, but it should be plain color. So I would suggest you avoid variegated yarns or printed yarns. A self-striping yarn is is okay though so if, if, if the yarn is striping every row that is okay but in between if it, if it is giving you different colors which means a variegated yarn then I would suggest you to avoid that so that was it for this video tutorial I know it turned out to be a little big but I've tried my best to explain all the little details that were necessary and I've tried to make it as short as possible and if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or reach me on my Instagram. All my social media and Etsy shop details are linked in the description box. You can find all the links over there. And I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. And if you liked it, do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And I will see you in my next video.
Thank you so much for watching.